This is a presentation provided by Sierra Tech in the methodology used to print address labels such as those manufactured by Avery using contact names that you have stored in your Outlook and performing the mail merge function from within Word to print those contacts out in a format that uh, you select during the mail merge process. We start off with having Outlook opened as seen here. And when you first open Outlook, depending on your settings, typically it goes into your mail inbox. What I'm going to do here is this is showing emails that uh, old emails as a matter of fact that are in my Outlook box and I want to go to the contacts list. In the contacts list I can create subfolders based on various topics such as attorneys, Christmas list, and in this case BNI visitor list. And these are contacts that include the name, address, and phone numbers of your contacts that you wish to actually print out in a format that you desire. We have to set up Outlook folders in a fashion that be, these folders are visible to Word when we perform the mail merge. Outlook can share its contact information to various programs, and in this case, it'll be the mail merge process used in Word. We do this by right-clicking on our folder that we wish to make sure that is visible. In this case, BNI Visitor, I'm going to right-click here, choose Properties, and you will see some tabs at the top of the dialog box and we want to select Outlook address book. We want to make sure that show this folder as an email address book is checked. And again, once this is configured, there's no reason for you to have to revisit this folder or this property setting to change it. You can add contacts as as often as you want and the contacts that you add in will be visible at the time you're performing the mail merge using Outlook as your data source. So I'm going to cancel here. I just wanted to review how you make this list or these folders visible. And I'm going to fire up Word. Okay. In my Word, and this is version, Office version 2010, but this procedure works both in Office 2007 and Office 2010. It's very similar to a previous video that I've done for Office 2002-2003 with some minor subtleties on how you access the wizards. We want Word to work for us. So I'm going to use the mail merge wizard to perform the work. Up here on top we have tabs. When you open Word it typically starts at the Home tab. I'm going to choose the Mailing Mailings tab and you'll see here it says Start Mail Merge. I'm going to click on this and at the very bottom is a step-by-step -step mail merge wizard. Select that. And now we need to describe to our mail merge wizard what our output is going to be. In this case, we're going to be doing labels, not envelopes. So we scroll down here, or not scroll, but move our mouse to labels, check labels. And it'll prompt you here what you do next. So it says click next to continue. 
So now we need to define the document that we're going to use. This is a blank document and since I have not stored a document with the addresses that I plan to generate uh, my labels from, I'm going to start with the existing document. Actually changing the document layout. Um, start from existing document is one that you've saved on your hard drive. And we'll click here, Label Options. and it opens up this dialog box. On top here is how you want to print your labels. And I like to use manual. Uh, the I can select auto select or tray one, tray two for my printer. But manual allows me to insert each sheet at a time. So it's always good to uh, select manual, but it's a matter of preference. The label vendor that we want to choose is Avery. So I will scroll down here, but I want Avery US Letter. And if I look in the box of my la Avery labels, I look at the part number, and the number is 5159. So I'll choose 5159. I'll click OK. And now we Click Next to select recipients. We have three options in the recipients portion of the wizard. Use an existing list. That might be a list that you created in Excel or elsewhere. Select from Outlook address contacts or type a new list. Well, we want to use Outlook since that's the data source for all of our addresses and I'm lazy and don't want to type it all in by hand again. So I select that and then choose a contacts folder. So I'll select this and you may see a profile dialog box open go ahead and select the default profile. If you don't see a profile box open, it's because you probably used this before. And it goes right to the Select Contacts uh, folder to import. Now I'm going to scroll down and here's the BNI Visitor list. And I'm going to click OK. And here I have the opportunity to decide do I want all of the uh, content of this folder or do I want to exclude individuals? You can uncheck the top here and it'll clear everything. I'm going to check this again and, and let's say I decide that I want to remove this contact from my list and he will not be included in my mailing list uh, mail merge. So I'll click OK. And now we need to arrange the labels. This is where you define what the labels are to contain. We're going to be using address block, so I'm going to click on address block. And here you have the options to include middle name, and some other features in the list. You may want, if you in inserted Mr. and Mrs. in your Outlook contacts, you may want to choose the Mr. and Mrs. feature. And if there is no Mr. and Mrs., it simply will not generate or print the Mr. and Mrs. The other options you have is you could put middle initial or is Mr. Josh Q. Here is Josh Randall and you get a preview here based upon what you select. So I'm going to um, 
go ahead and select Mr. and Mrs. You can decide if you want to use a company name. I'm going to uncheck this. If I check this, you can see the company name here, Dwyer Custom Coatings, as an example. Insert postal address, that's what we want to do. And it says format address according to destination, country, and region. That uh, works for me. So I have basically defined what I want my label to contain. So I'm going to click OK. And now the most important step that gets typically passed up, you know, people will call me and ask me why it didn't work, is all we've done is define the first field here. These are records that have no information in them. We want to update all labels. Now you'll see next record address block on all labels. Next we want to preview your labels. And notice I'm on the last page. There's only one label in this. And I have recipients up to 12. So I can scroll back here to see more of the recipients. And then we're done here. We click Next to complete the merge. Now I can print at this time. But there's something I like to do to make these labels more visible in your document. Click the Home tab. This is an optional step. And go up to the what I call table format and click view the grid lines. Now you can see how the labels are formatted. This this will not print. This just simply gives you a indication where each label is. And at this point we click print. You can choose all current record. I'm going to click all and I'm going to send it to the printer. And that is it. And so now my addresses are being printed onto the Avery labels sheet that should be residing in the printer in the manual feed tray. That's how you do it. Thank you for watching and let me know if you have questions.